Oh, what's going on? Right, you're playing with center caps. I'm going to do a quick little showing of what I do to clean them up. So, we started with washing all of them real good. I got six of them here. One of them's up at the front's already been done. But even after a wash, you know, they got water stains on them. These are a pot metal, kind of chrome plated. You can see dirt down in the crevices. I'm not so worried about this portion here. I'll clean that up later and probably respray that. They were a, a silver color. I got paint coming for the wheels, so I'll just paint those to match. Could just polish the whole things, but I'd rather just have the center section like the original. So, like I said, I washed them all. I'll grab us some fresh leather doll here. And all we're doing. Just hitting all the surfaces, cleaning all the junk off. Doesn't take long. Try to keep you in somewhat in the view here. So I've already done all the closed caps. These are the two opens. I've got a set of these on the truck already, but I didn't pull them off, so I thought, eh, I'll just clean these up. Now, I misspoke in an earlier video. I thought these, which are from LMC, these are part number 36-8215. I thought they would also fit on the front hubs, but they do not. They're too, too big. And I don't think they make reproductions for that, so, which is fine. I'll probably be stepping up to a manual hub anyway. This one's a little beat, but not bad. You see, it doesn't take much. I can always, if I get a better one that's on the truck already, I'll just use it instead of this. But these bolt on separately, they don't use the lug nuts, they just have bolts, so just have to swap them out if need be. Three bolts per unit. Got some tape adhesive on here. In the interest of saving time, I'll finish this one up later because I've got the other one to do yet. This one has already been done. As you can see, it's all shiny. Wipe all the residue off. and pretty got the sun behind the camera so it's reflecting off of, off of these it's pitted but I'm not that interested in getting brand new ones so now we have to pull this off is this the one I was going to use or is this the one I was going to use I think this is the one I can't remember now I think this is the one I was planning on using when you got multiple pieces. This one's got a lot of pitting on it. Scratches. Should be a good wall hanger. And now I've got two extras of these. They're only a couple bucks a pop. So, so let's glue on. They are an aluminum Decal. That leaves a lot of residue. Well, I cleaned them. Just hit it with a little carb cleaner. 
That softens that goo up really good. And I've got a scraper here. Takes a majority of that goo right off. This is nasty stuff. It's all over. Those little beetles and bugs flying around. I didn't use a scraper the first cleaning I did. I just wiped it off with a towel. And I had little bits of this adhesive crap all over the place. I'm still picking it off. And that crevice is I want it to nice and clean so that the edges seal. That didn't take long at all. There again, a little tunnel here. There's a little bit of crud in the corner still. Soak our towel down a little bit so we can. Leaves, clean towel action. Looks pretty good to me. So, now we take our new 4x4 decal. Let's get a little tab on it here, pull the backing off. I've already done one of these. Gingerly set it down on the bottom. There's a relief. You can see it's raised on the outer edge and sunk in a little bit. Just line it up in there. Gently place her in. Start from one side. Just start working. way across. And now it has a protective film on it. And there we go. We have ourselves a somewhat restored Shiny center cap for a 10 slot rally wheel. Actually, this will also work for the aluminum wheels that my truck currently has, but I'm not using those. So, just like that. Thanks for following along. That was uh, quick and easy. I got, uh, got two of those ready to rock and roll. Okay, y'all be good. Talk to you later. Bye bye.